In May 2018, Ebola was back in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I joined MSF as a water and sanitation specialist to respond to the Ebola outbreak. When we were setting up the Ebola treatment centre in Iboko, our team was told that one confirmed Ebola patient had died in a village called Bobale. Her remains were very infectious, so we wanted to make sure that her body was properly handled to avoid the further spread of the disease. <laughs> With an outbreak like this, it was a race against time. Three of us travelled to Bobale. I needed to disinfect the woman's house and place her remains in a safe body bag which would go into a sealed coffin. But it was really dark. And there wasn't enough light to enter the house safely without the risk of tearing my protection suit on sharp objects. So we decided to postpone until the next morning. We started work as dawn broke. We sprayed the house and I disinfected the woman's body in a respectful way in front of her husband. It took me an hour to finish and I'd been sweating in the suit. Then, we took all the clothes, sheets and other potentially contaminated materials and put them into a bag that I sprayed with chlorine. We put this bag into another bag, sprayed again and put it into a third bag. It was then taken back to our treatment centre in Iboko and burnt. My task here was done, but the fight against Ebola isn't over yet. <laughs> 